Welcome, my constant reader friends. I'm Tad, and this is Tad Reads Books and Stuff. Okay, first off, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, I'm a day late. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Scrooge. I know I'm beyond my time, but I was making pretty merry with my family yesterday. It only occurs once a year. <laughs> so, yeah, you're going to see this little this video a little bit later in the day, Monday, than normal. Usually I record early on Sundays, which gives me all day to edit and get everything posted and released on Monday mornings. But yesterday being Christmas and all, um, yeah, I, I, I was doing a little bit of partying with my family, which is awesome. I hope you all had a great uh, holiday too as well. All right, let's do a real quick update. Um, Crooked Kingdom, Lee Bardugo. So I'm not very far into this. I'm starting part three, uh, brick by brick. It's only about 150 pages into the book. You know what happens with me is when I try to read two books, and I do it pretty often now, um, sometimes one book takes over from the other one. And that's, that's what's happened with Babylon's Ashes. Um, I just am really digging this so much. I've just really been reading this more than, unfortunately, Crooked Kingdom. So I'm 325 pages uh, into this. Only about two, little over 200 pages left. So, of course, I'm not going to have any problems getting that finished this year. By the end of December, I am a little worried, though, about Crooked Kingdom. Um, oh, hopefully, we'll get it done by the end of the month. We got about a week left. All right. So, one of the main things uh, uh, in this video is I got my Discord channel set up. Um, it is Tad Reads Books and Stuff. I will put the link to the Discord in the notes. Um, it would be wonderful if you all join me. This basically what I did was I set up the Discord channel, and there's going to be a general area. So, you know, anybody wants to talk about any books or anything, please, no politics or or being unkind to anybody. Uh, that will not be good. But anything else, I, I really, you want to ask questions or just talk, it's a good place for people who maybe like my channel can go and hang out. Um, but anyways, there will be a general section for anything. And then I went ahead and I put down a tag for each book in the Stephen King compilation um, read uh, I don't want to say read along but reading challenge for myself reading project for uh, this coming year it's going to start in January with night shift so I do have different tags for each one where if you want to go in if you want to read along with me or just uh, discuss some of the stories in these uh, compilation novels as we go through the year. Um, that'd be great. Join me. I'll put the link below. Okay, I'm, I'm not great with Discord. Believe me, I just started. Hopefully everything will go good. All right, second, I'm going to do what I did last year. This is my Christmas book haul. Um, let's, I've, got, I've got them set down in front of me. Let's start with this. Graz, this is for you. Oh, I got all these. Oh my gosh, they're heavy. The Preacher. So, I've got book one. These covers are really cool. Book two. Book three. Come on, they're heavy. Book four, book five, and last but not least, book six. All right, again, so Graz, you asked for this, and if you all want to tune out, go ahead. I'm going to tell a little story. Now, you're part of this now, Graz. This is a tradition that I'm passing on to you. I have seven kids in my family. There's seven children in my family. Five girls, and I do have a handicapable older brother. And when we became adults, 
we decided, hey, let's just, you know, not spend a lot of money, but we'll get each other a gift, you know, every year, you know, like that. And uh, real quick, I have one sister that what she got me was whatever she got during the year for free. So, for instance, an example, she would get her husband a subscription to Sports Illustrated magazine and they would get a free umbrella, you know, with the subscription. I would get the umbrella, that kind of thing. So, but I have another sister who knows that I love books. She knows that I like science fiction, you know, anything uh, science fiction, fantasy, particularly, especially back then. Um, and she would get me a book. But what she did was she would go to, you know, like at Walmart, they've got those boxes with bins of, you know, real cheap books or, or DVDs or something like that. Or, or even Barnes and Nobles has that table where, you know, books are cheap. Well, that's what she would do. She would go find a book for me. But invariably, this is what would happen. I'm going to reach over here. Excuse me. She got me this book years ago oh, for Christmas. What does that say? The Fires of Heaven. Now, if you know the Wheel of Time series, you will notice it says book five. Yeah, that's what my sister would do. She would invariably get me a book that was book seven of a series, book five of a series. At the time, I did not have this series. Every single time. So, me being a completionist, and I think she knew this and maybe did it on purpose, I have to go now go get all the books. So, she gives me book five. I got to... Every time. Every time. So... I'm passing it along to Graz because what happened was I had found book one and book two for pretty cheap. And so I bought them. And then I get home and I'm like, oh no, there's six books. Now I've got to go get all the, you know, the other books, three, four, five, and six. Well, unfortunately I could find the books, but I found one person selling the whole series, one through six, cheaper than if I would have piecemealed it, you know, and bought one book individually. So I said, huh, I'm going to do it. So I went and I bought all six of them, even though I already had book one and book two. And what I did was I gifted it to Gras, <laughs> book one and book two. So now, dude, you're set up. Now, unfortunately, you have to go buy the other ones yourself. So now you're part of the family tradition of giving books to people, but making them buy more to complete <laughs> the whole thing. So anyways, that, that, that's the first one. Preacher. Another one. I found these books. A lot of these books I got at Ollie's for, for pretty cheap. Um, some I didn't. But you all might not know, I do have a second YouTube channel and it's called Board Games, War Games, and Miniatures. It's another hobby of mine. I, I'm not a, a video game player, um, console game player, anything like that. But I do love board games. And there are some really cool board games out there. So I have this board game. And I've had it for quite a while. A friend gave it to me. Uh, called Time Stories. It's kind of like a role-playing game on a board game where you go to different... Um, it's, it's like time traveling. And then you have to solve puzzles or crimes or something like that. So I had this board game and then I'm walking through Ollie's the other day and I see this. Holy crap, they've got a book. Uh, somebody wrote a book that actually goes with that game. So I had to get it. Time Stories. It's been translated from Fran French, originally written in French. Um, the Hiding File. So I got this and it it was two bucks, so I had to get it. Time stories. Next, oh, I got a bu I got a bunch of these. Um, I'll show you one. I'll put them here. Show you one at a time. Star Trek, Discovery, The Enterprise War. Nice. Star Trek, Discovery, Dead Endless. Hmm. Nice. Star Trek, <laughs> the original series, Agents of Influence. Okay. 
Hey, they're still coming. Star Trek. <laughs> this is um, the original series, The Higher Frontier. And last but not least, Star Trek. And this is, well, it looks like from the movies, uh, the, the more recent movies, The Unsettling Stars. So I found all of these, what's that, five? Five Star Trek novels at Ollie's for $1.99 each. I mean, how can you pass that up? Five Star Trek novels, $1.99 each. I'm going to, this is just fun. This is just going to be fun for me. You know, another story. Remember the old days, uh, Star Trek had these books. I don't know if any of you remember this. Um, from the original series. And they were kind of like picture books. They would take different screenshots from the show. And it was in the book. And then there'd be balloons. Kind of like a comic book. But it would be the pictures from the, the show. And it would be that show. And I remember I had the one. I can't. I should have looked it up. The name of the show was the. It's the one where they dress up in zoot suits, you know, pinstripe suits, and they go back, and it's like, wherever the, the planet they're on, it's like the 20s. There's people running around, you know, they've got Tommy guns, and it's a mafia or whatever. I had that when I was a kid. I, I don't know. I just thought, just remembered that. Sorry. I'll, I'll try not to tell any more stories. Right. I got this one. The Starless Crown. Now, this is by James Rollins, and I'll be honest with you, um, never heard of him, never heard of this book. It's got that nice soft cover. I like those. It says Moonfall number one on the spine here, so I'm assuming there's going to be a series. I haven't looked it up. I haven't looked up anything about it. Why did you get it, Dad? Well, because it says a terrific bit of storytelling, Terry Brooks. So Terry Brooks, uh, if he's putting his name on it, it must be awesome, right? And when I look at it on the inside, it says, For Terry Brooks, whose creativity inspired me and whose generosity of spirit is the only reason you are reading this book. So, hey, if it's endorsed by Terry Brooks, it's got to be awesome, right? So I got it. All right. Got to make another stack here. Oh, my, no, I don't know if I have enough room. You know what? You're going on top of here because I have too much. And it's going to slide all over the place. All right. What else did I get? I got this book. Um, Blade Runner, the role-playing game. This was on Kickstarter, and I just got it delivered recently. Um, it's a role-playing game. It's the rule book for the role-playing game. And I'm going to... Cool, cool art in here. Kind of immerses you in, you know, the Blade Runner universe. Um, I'm going to pro probably do this with some friends of mine. Uh, but it's a role-playing game. And it's just fun to read through these. So I got that. Blade Runner, the role-playing game. Core rules. Stay up there. Next. I, I feel like I'm talking too fast, but I, I know my videos can run too long. So I'm going to try to relax. All right. This one. I, I gotta have my Star Wars books, right? And, sorry guys, I have not read Brothers yet. <laughs> um, I'm way behind on my Star Wars reads, believe me. But I got this one, uh, The Princess and the Scoundrel. Nice cover right there with Han and Leia. That's by Beth Revis. So I've got that. And I also picked up Shadow of the Sith. That's a cool cover. Oh, I love that cover. Look at that. Holy crap. There's the back of it. Yeah. So I got this one. Um, again, these are that soft cover. Really, really beautiful covers. This is by Adam Christopher. And so that's going on my list. Like I said, I, I'm behind on my Star Wars reads. I've got a bunch to read. So I got that. Move over there. Next. Okay, so you know my video about George Martin, right? George R. R. Martin. Um, and I really didn't dig that book. But so many people said, you know, stay with it. Keep reading. Read some more. And I had the suggestion to move forward with the next one, like in the timeline. And it's A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. So, I picked it up. 
and I will be reading it this year. I'm going to give George R.R. R. Martin another try and see if I can get, this should be more like a story than the other one, which was kind of just a history book, um, which I didn't dig that much, but we're going to try. We're going to keep going. All right. Oh, even I was talking about this, sorry to backtrack here, but um, I'm going to read some more Wheel of Time. I'll be honest with you. I've only read the first three books. I read that, what, two years ago before I started the channel, uh, kind of preparing for that TV series that was coming out. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't really like it. I mean, the first book, I, I was just hard for me to get into. I don't know why. Maybe it's the writing style. I don't know. But um, the second book was just a little better. The third book was just a little better. I hear the fourth and the fifth. Um, it really picks up and starts getting good. I hope so. I hope so. We will be reading some more Wheel of Time this year. All right. Almost, well, not almost, but <laughs> got a couple more. I had to get this. I saw this on the bookshelf, and it was on sale. Frankenstein, of course, by Mary, well, they, they give her the whole name. Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley. Cool name. Um, I love Frankenstein. It's one of my all-time favorite books. And anytime I see a different, uh, you know, vo volume, I get it. This one's really cool because it's illustrated by Bernie Wrightson. If some of you are comic book fans, you'll know who Bernie Wrightson is. Now, Bernie Wrightson, um, he's passed away in 2017. But you may, if you can look at that, you may look familiar. It looks a little bit like the Thing comic book. He was a comic book illustrator. And he did the Swamp Thing. Um, this book, Frankenstein, he did some other, a lot of other things too. too. He worked with uh, Stephen King, illustrations for The Stand, Dark Tower uh, 5, Wolves of the Kala, Creep Show, and Cycle of the Werewolf, as well as other things, Ghostbusters, Spider-Man, that's his bio there. But I saw this, it looks beautiful, I had to pick it up, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Oh, Introduction by Stephen King. Awesome. Next. So I've been hearing so much about this author and I just have, don't have anything by her. And I decided to get something and I found these. First one is The City We Became by N.K. Jameson. I haven't read any N.K. Jameson. I... I don't know why everyone talks about how amazing she is so i went and got this the city we became and the follow-up the world we make i believe it's a duology orbit kicking it again but uh yeah i'm gonna get get this read th this year the city we became and the world we make by nk jemson almost done guys all right I had to get this. You know I had to get this. Daughter of Darkness by Terry Brooks. Now, this is the second book in, I guess it's going to be a trilogy. Let me show you. It came with two of these big bookmarks. This one says The King Killing Queen bookmark. Doesn't have anything on the back. Hmm, a delicious, wry, and dark love letter to high fantasy. I don't know. It's got a, a thing down here. I don't know anything about it. And, of course, one that says Daughter of Darkness, which is the second book in the trilogy, which began with Child of Light. You know I love Terry Brooks. This book was pretty cool. Can't wait to start reading the second one. And like most of my Terry Brooks books, it is autographed by Terry. All right. One more. Last one, I promise. Last but not least, of course, I had to get... Oh, my God. This this will kill somebody. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Wow, this, is, this book is huge. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. I, I'm going to have to do a workout 
with this thing. Holy crap. Look, that's the inside cover. That's pretty cool. I can't show you everything. If, if any of you have any of these, you know how awesome the artwork is in here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, let's, let's get it, Ted. Look at that. Can you see it? I hope so. Yeah, these books are amazing. Um, each book is bigger and bigger and heavier and heavier. But uh, yeah, Order of the Phoenix finally got that. So last but not least, Order of the Phoenix. Whew! That's my book haul for Christmas. It's my second one. My very first video I did on this channel was a Christmas book haul. Uh, almost exactly a year ago. I have one more video at the end of this year, which will be my, my one year anniversary. I do want to say thank you so much for everybody. Anybody that has watched any of my videos has commented. Oh, I, you know, I love the comments. I respond to every comment. Um, anybody who's liked my videos or watched my videos, subscribe to my videos. I am sitting at 365 subscribers right now that is amazing in one year on booktube uh I, I i'm just flabbergasted i really am thank you thank you thank you i hope you all had a wonderful holidays and i'll see you next time peace out